It is a project whose architects say will help decongest the city's capital, Nairobi, which has suffered from the problem of traffic congestion for years. But the construction of the 4.2 kilometers four-lane dual carriageway, also known as Gong Road, Kibera Congo, Karuba Langata Road, has displaced about 20,000 people, with some schools also affected by the project. Eight schools and 2,102 learners have been affected by the ongoing road and rail reserve demolitions along the Ngong Langata road link. And amid concerns over the fate of pupils and students whose schools were demolished, Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed has moved to array the fears. Amina saying that plans are in place to find alternatives for those affected with new centers set to be established for candidates who are yet to sit for their national examinations later in the year. All the learners, though, will be absorbed and will be reallocated to the nearest public schools to ensure that um, their learning continues uninterrupted. Uh, we have begun doing that. We've identified the nearest schools and we, have, we are placing them as we speak. This year's national examination candidates will be transferred to alternative centers immediately. Again, we don't want any disruption and we don't want any uh, delays. She was speaking during the launch of Education Sector Policy on Disaster Management that provides a framework to help guide, collaborate, coordinate and manage emergencies within the education sector. The launch of this policy comes at a time when we are confronted by far-reaching effects of the recent heavy rains, as well as, uh, regrettably, the spate of fires that have destroyed school infrastructure in various parts of our country. This policy, ladies and gentlemen, will guide our efforts in mitigating this and other risks in future and in promoting the safety of our children and teachers in our learning institutions. For Channel One News Hour, I'm Emily K. Buddy.